Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, let's discuss some uh, important questions from subject name called T and G. I'm just telling you clearly it's an important questions, but I cannot say that as expected questions. So I collected all the questions from old question papers. Second, practice. And also, you can call this as important questions instead of expected questions. Okay. So you can see from module one, with the help of phaser diagram, explain the operation of practical transformer on load. Okay. You can also call this as MMF balancing. MMM is balancing along with the phaser diagrams you have to write. Okay. Six, six marks they asked many times. And this way you can see question number, next question. Draw and explain the phaser diagram of single phase transformer for lagging, leading, unity, power factor, loads. Also, you can expect like this. With the phaser diagram, explain the operation of ideal transformer on no load, practical transformer for lagging load. That is nothing but practical transformer on load. Also, you can expect like this. Draw and explain full load phaser diagrams of single phase transformer for lagging, leading, unity, power factor loads. Seven, six, six marks they asked many times so that you need to practice. You can expect transformer on load or transformer on no load along with the phaser diagrams. You can expect in the examination. Similarly, you can see equivalent circuit diagram is also very important. Equivalent circuit diagram of transformer refer to primary or refer to secondary or approximate equivalent circuit diagram. So you can see now develop the equivalent of single phase transformer refer to primary side from fundamentals. Again, asked many times. For two winding transformer, single phase or two winding transformer derive an expression for total ohmic loss in terms of equivalent resistance referred to either side. Either side means either you have to consider primary side or else you have to consider secondary side. Also, you can expect question like this, develop the equivalent circuit of a single phase transformer and show that the parameter of the primary and secondary winding may be combined to give a simplified equivalent circuit referred to primary side, as many times. So either you can expect query questions on load, no load, and uh, equivalent circuit diagram refer to primary or secondary or approximate. Also, don't forget to practice this question. That is on load, no load. So many times they asked. Okay. Also, OCC test theory. OC test, SC test. Explain OC and SC test. And you can definitely expect one question from one problem from OCC test and one problem from all day efficiency. OCC test and all day efficiency. Keep that in your mind. And whatever you are seeing, these problems are from old question papers. If you want, you can take screenshot. See the questions, practice. Especially these type of questions they asked many times. Okay. Practice the questions. You can take the screenshots. I cannot read the problem. You just take the screenshot. These all from old question paper you can refer what question papers I referred. And also you can see theory. All the efficiency theory. Write a short note on all the efficiency or else how all the efficiency is different from standard efficiency. Briefly explained twice they asked for four marks as well as six marks. Regulation of transformer, as I told, OCC test. So total from module one, you can expect theory on load or no load. Equivalent is very important. And also OCSC test theory, OC and SC test, all day efficiency. And problems on OCC test and all day efficiency. You can see the problems. From old question paper, you can take screenshot and practice. Okay. 
I hope you are taking screenshots. Similarly, you can see these problems from order efficiency and OCC test. Similarly, if you come to the three phase transformer, you can see the difference between three phase transformer bank and three phase transformer unit. Advantages of three phase transformer over single phase transformer for same KV ratings. Advantages, advantages asked many times practice. And also with the help of phaser diagram, explain how two supply, two phase supply can be obtained from three phase supply using Scott connection is very important. They asked many times. Scott connection. Okay. And this connections, connection diagram, only one or two you can expect. Open delta connection. This derivation is very important. 58% of delta delta connection. You're comparing open delta V with the delta delta and you're doing some derivation they asked many times. Also, you can see write a short note on open delta or else V V connection, advantages of open delta connection. What do you mean by open delta connection and when it is used? And also explain the varieties of question you can expect from old question papers. Many times they asked. Okay. Similarly, so show the open delta connection of three phase transformer has KV rating 58%, as I told this definition, three phase 58 percent of delta delta connection. Okay. And Scott connection problem, you cannot expect, I just copy and paste it. Scott connection, they, were, they may not ask. Polarity test, anyhow, you're doing in a lab so that the same thing you have tried, polarity test, they asked twice. Sumpness test, Sumpness test also, you either have to refer theory textbooks or else whatever you practiced in the lab, the same thing you can able to write. Sumpners or back-to-back -back test, we should remember the questions. Explain Sumpners test for two single phase transformer. Also explain why this is beneficial for finding efficiency of transformer. And also you can expect question like this with the help of relevant circuit diagram. Explain back-to-back -back test. Mention advantages. Many of you are not studying the advantage, so that please practice the advantages. With a circuit diagram, explain in detail Sumpner's test for determining the efficiency and voltage regulation of transformer. And you can refer lab observation or else you can write whatever the theory you studied, whatever which is comfortable that you have tried. Coming back to the parallel operation, important conditions to be fulfilled. Conditions to be fulfilled for operating two single phase transformers in parallel. Also need and condition, need for parallel operation, conditions for parallel operation. We can expect in the examination, they asked many times. Okay, list the conditions to be satisfied. Conditions, voltage ratio should be same, XPR ratio should be same, frequency should be same. So that I will have to write conditions. And you can see sharing of transformer. Derive an expression for having two derivations. One is derive an expression for currents shared between two transformers connected in parallel supplying a common load when no load voltages of these transformer are unequal. If V1 and E2 are unequal, one derivation also will be having E1 equals to E2 derivation. Out of these two derivation, any one derivation you can expect in the examination, this they asked many times. See now you can expect, see the next question now. And problems on this parallel operation. Either derivation, what is the derivation? When E1 equals to E2, same equal voltage ratio and unequal voltage ratio. E1 is greater than or less than equals to E2, unequal voltage ratio. And or else you can expect the problems from these problems. And these problems are more question paper. If you want, you can take screenshot and you can practice. Similarly, if you come to the auto transformer, copper saving is very important. They asked many times. Expression for saving of copper of auto transformer is compared to an equivalent to winding transformer. You can see how many times they asked. Show that auto transformer will result in saving copper in place of two winding transformer. Also, you can see what is an auto transformer definitions. Many of you are not practicing. Practice the definition. Derive an expression for saving of copper in an auto transformer as compared to equivalent to winding transformer. What are the advantages? Derive an expression for saving of copper in auto transformer. Important. Also, saving of copper. Problems on this. Problems of copper saving. Either derivation or problem. Simple, simple problem will have intensity. 
the copper selling problem just take a screenshot and you can practice primary and secondary voltages they are given 6 marks 5 marks questions okay and explain the reason for tap changing tap changing transformer you can expect on load tap changer off load tap changer okay so that explain the working of tap changing transformer explain the operation of on load tap changer explain the type of need sketches working of on load tap changer and off load tap changer important they asked many times coming back to synchronous generator emf equation of synchronous generator they will ask and also pitch factor form factor pile spin and derivation for this they will ask pitch factor derivation distribution factor derivation emf equation of synchronous generator practice it you can definitely expect in the examination derive the emf equation of synchronous generator as i told emf equation pitch factor distribution factor derivation and harmonics what are the methods used to reduce harmonics and you can see the problem that i collected from old question paper it may help but i am not sure about the problems i am only talking about the theory here so that if you practice theory you can write it well with a vector diagram explain synchronous reactance of an alternator that is also important and with a phase diagram explain the concept of two reaction theory important two reaction theory and also slip test xt and xq here you need to draw the waveform if you having some three waveform that you have to draw okay and also problems on reactance collected from old question paper just take screenshot okay so here either emf equation of transformer pitch factor or distribution factor or two reactions theory slip test okay and problems you can take screenshot synchronization of alternator are very important three phase synchronized bus bar infinite bus bar that you have to write and also why synchronization of alternator need for parallel operation of alternator vehicles and inverted vehicles that you have to know and here i can uh, give some assurance that you can expect these questions in examination that is capability curves of synchronous generator and hunting and damper right if you are not on hunting and dampers capability curves definitely they will ask you just check all the question papers many times they ask repeatedly coming back to the next pre determining voltage regulation of an alternator many of you are only practicing the problems and also you have to look into the theory what are the different methods of pre determining voltage regulation emf mmf jpf for both year that you have to write okay Similarly, define voltage regulation of an alternator. Explain the load characteristics of alternator regulation. What is regulation you have to write? And explain direct loading test. OCC ACC characteristics of alternator is nothing but EMF method. Also, short circuit ratio is important. They asked SCR just for four marks. And ZPF. ZPF you need to practice. Define regulation. Effect of power factor as a regulation using ZPF method. Calculate regulation and given alternator. Mention the advantages. EMF method, MMF method along with the phase diagrams, and ZPF method. How to get Fortier reactance method that you have to write. Okay, synchronous reactance also. Coming back to the. Problems. You just take a screenshot. These all problems from old question papers. It may help. Okay, practice it well. So EMF method problem or MMF or else EMF and MMF or else ZPF problems. You can expect. Explain ZPF method of predetermining of regulation. ZPF method. Effect of change of excitation once they asked. So these all up to module four. If you coming back to module five, okay. So if you coming back to the model F5, there you have to explain, or is there you have to expect um, model F5. So you can see the basic components, basic components of wind energy conversion. You can expect principle of solar cell, 
or else if you are looking to the model question paper just see model question paper of p and g explain briefly the construction and working principle as i told working principle of transformer is important they asked many times on load that is nothing but analyze the operation of single phase transformer on load with a phase diagram in the load but that is nothing but for lagging power factor okay similarly one problem they asked from efficiency to find the value of efficiency at 75 percentage of load as i told equivalent circuit diagram types of losses copper loss and uh, maximum efficiency condition that derivation you have to practice and performance sumpness test you can see features delta delta and star delta they asked and also so conditions for parallel operation of transformer and one problem from load sharing okay equal unequal voltage ratio it is i think unequal or equal equal okay similarly see auto transformer working principle merits saving copper saving on load or off load charge tap change or anyone you can definitely explain expect pitch factor and distribution factor derivation and emf equation and also armature reaction of synchronous generator simple problem ocs characteristics of generator alternator and also see now synchronous impedance method that is nothing but emf method two reactions there as i told synchronization capability curve hunting damper coming back coming back to modify basic components of wind energy conversion and also you can see with a neat construction horizontal axis we can practice these all for the examination model if i it is very easy i think you need to practice model if i once and also you have to practice the diagrams you have to draw the diagrams neatly in the examination and it will definitely help you so i think it may help for your examination so if you are having any doubts regarding this can contact and we can i hope you are taking the screenshots while explaining so practice these definitely not only pass you will score a maximum marks in the examination and also all the very best for your exams uh if you really like this video kindly do subscribe and share maximum thank you so much have a nice day and all the very best for your examination